Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti e-classroom. Today we are going to discuss one question from Averages chapter. A good question. Actually this question has been sent by one of our regular students as a part of the doubt clarification. And I have already included this question in our regular course under doubt clarification session section. Okay. And as far as this question is concerned, students, I verified this one. Actually, this was one of the questions from CPO examination. Okay. Since it is the PYQ, previous year question, you can find it many ways. In many, on uh, many websites, of course, you can find it. But the solution method, R method is different. You know that one. Most of the cases, R methods are without writing anything on the paper. Okay, but this question, you need to write something on the paper to some extent, that's it. And we are going to use the logical way. Mostly, I use the Vedic Mathematics method. All of you know this one while solving arithmetic questions. Okay, right, let's go for this one. We are going to solve this question also without consulting any pure mathematical methods. Simply with logic, we are going to solve it. Okay, right, what exactly they have given? The average score of 40 to, uh, 42 students in a test is 69. Keep it in your mind. Total number of students 42 and the average is 69. Right. Next. The ratio of number of boys to girls is 10 is to 11. Remember that as, that as well. Boys to girls ratio is 10 is to 11. Uh, next what they have given one more clue. The average score of boys is 20% more than that of girls. Very, very important clue. I can say this is hurt, hurt here. This is the hurt of the question. Okay. So, average score of boys is 20% more than that of girls. Then, the average score of boys is how much? A good question, students. Very good question, right? Uh, like many twists are there in this one, but we will solve it very, very simply. But the options also, you see, one more important thing very close to one another. There is no none of this option. All right. Now you see 73.5, then 75.2, 82.8, 75.6. What does it mean? We need to do some extra work, additional work at the simplification part as well. We cannot simply go by the approximation. More or less, by and large, you have to get the exact, accurate answer there. Okay, right. Now let's start the question here. What technique shall we use? Now see students, they have given average score of 42 students in the test is 69. Now according to the method, the method which I am going to explain, there is no need of taking this one. Yes, I mean it. Without the number also you can do because we are going to use the concept of unitary method. I will simply take the ratios into consideration, not the exact numbers. Okay, here there is no need, no need, no need. Take it out. Just consider this, that one. Average is 69. Let us start with the imaginary numbers. Generally, we follow this technique only. What are imaginary numbers here? First, you take number of boys, number ratio. Number of boys to girls. Listen carefully, students, right? What they have given? 10 is to 11. Boys to girls is 10 is to 11. This is one figure. All right. Next Clearly they have given that. I, I, I told you this is the heart of the question, that clue. What's that? The average score of boys is 20% more than that of girls. Now, we will take uh, imaginary numbers for average of boys and uh, girls marks also. What is that imaginary here? In the percentages chapter, we have learned this one. Average score of boys is 20% more than that of girls. 20% is nothing but 1 by 5. Just to recollect the percentages chapter. When boys average is 20% more than that one, the figure you can take like this 5 plus 1. 5 plus this one. Actually this one is this one. 6. We can say the average marks of boys to girls as 6 by 5. Or 6 is to 5 average. How that is students? This is the basic in percentages. Boys marks are 20% more than that of girls. That means boys average mark. Marks of boys can be taken as 6. Marks of girls taken as 5. 
in the percentages chapter we have learned this one simple technique or if any beginner is there i'll give you one more trick also what is that uh, boys marks are 20% more than that of girls means if girls marks are 100% then boys marks should be 120% isn't it because boys marks are 20% more than that one now you see boys is to girls or boys by girls 120 by 100 that is nothing but 6 by 5 in the percentage chapter the very first lesson in the basic lesson only i have discussed this technique directly 1 by 5 20% means 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 more more that means 6 is boys 5 is girls. If you want the clarity, I have given here 120% and 100%. That's nothing but uh, 6 by 5. Now here are imaginary numbers. We are not deviating anything. Simply, we are starting the question with the imaginary numbers. Finally, we will equalize that one to actual number 69. How to equalize, you see? So, average marks of boys to girls is 6 is to 5. I am taking this one as 6 is to 5. This is number actually. This is number. And these are average marks. Now, you see students. Number of girls, let us imagine that uh, number of girls is 11 in the class. Number of boys is 10. The average marks of boys 5, average marks of girls, uh, average, uh, this is not 5, I'm sorry, 6. Uh, average marks of girls is uh, 5. Now you apply weighted average method. Find out the net average. How to find out net average? Total marks obtained by boys plus total marks obtained by girls divided by number of boys plus girls. That is weighted average formula. Now simply I am finding that one here. That is nothing but net average. Actually net average is 69 according to the figures given in the question. Now I have started with the imaginary figures. According to these imaginary figures, marks obtained by boys 10 into 6 plus marks obtained by girls 11 into 5 right 11 is the number 5 average marks 10 is the number 6 average marks now total marks obtained by boys and girls divided by some of the items divided by number of items will give me the average now here, total number of students, uh, boys 10, girls 11, that is 21. I hope this is clear for all of you. Now I am going to use the unitary method. What is that one? Actual average is 69. Total number 42, but it doesn't matter for me. Not at all useful for me, isn't it? We are going by the shortcut. Total average is, net average is 69. As the actual figure. According to the imaginary numbers, I have not deviated anywhere. I have taken the boys and girls ratio 10 is to 11 only. If it is 10 is to 11, if you take 42, that is 20 and 22. I don't need that one. Okay, so here I have not deviated 10 is to 11. Marks I have taken 6 is to 5 because of uh, this wording in the question, that clue. Now finally what happened? I got the net average. This is the net average. Okay, what is that one? Simplify to very quickly students here because here simplification is also very important. If you simplify, this is 60 plus 55, 115, 115 by 21. 115 by 21 is the average, net average according to the imaginary numbers. Now, actual average is 69. So, my imaginary average 115 by 21 can be equalized to 69. How simple students. This is the imaginary one. With the help of the given figures only I got it. 10 is to 11 I have taken. 6 is to 5 I have taken. Total net average I found out here. This 115 by 21 is equal to 69. Now I am going into the problem in depth. I have used the actual figure. When 115 by 21 imaginary average is equal to the actual average, the question they are asking, the average of boys is how much? Now here, average here, as far as my imaginary number is concerned, average is 6. 
Now, 115 by 21 is equal to 69. Then here, average of boys they have asked, then 6 is to how much? How simple this one? Have you got the idea? This is the way to do arithmetic questions with the help of Vedic mathematics. Okay, so here, 115 by 21 is 69. Suppose, if they ask, what is the average of girls? In that case, 115 by 21 is equal to 69. 5 is, e is equal to how much? Some students may do like this also. 115 by 21 is 69. 1 is equal to how much? Then into 6 will give you the answer. But here, no need to go with the additional step. So directly, I can say 6 is how much? So that is 6 divided by 115 by 21 or 6 into 21 by 115 into 69 is the average of a boys. In how many steps I found out this one? This is one step. This is second step. In the third step, I am going to get the answer. But you need the complete conceptual clarity to apply this type of shortcuts. Otherwise, it is not at all possible. So, try to learn the concept. Adequate practice will give you result in the examination. Okay, right. Now, you see, just simplify this one very quickly. How to go for this one? Because here, I cannot go by the uh, sheer uh, approximation because the options are in decimals and that too very close to one another. I'll go for uh, almost by and large the accurate figure. Half that is... 69 that means that comes that goes in 23 yes in 23 23 table 23 3 times 69 okay 23 5 times 1 now why i'm doing this one students if i get 115 goes in some table the table must be in the single digit so that converting the Numerator into decimal is very simple for me. Now convert the numerator into decimal here. How, how, how? This is 21 into, this is 3. 21 into 3, that is 63. 6 into 63 by 5, you do like this. 6 into 63 by 5, easiest way. This is the easiest way. Either you can divide this 6 with 5 or 63 with 5. After that you can multiply that, you can do it very easily. Now you do like this, 5 one time, sir. And 5 1 times point, this is to 1.2, easiest way, easiest way. So my final answer is 63 into 1.2. So what is 63 into 1.2? First start with the unit digit multiplication. Unit digit multiplication is 2, 3 is a 6. Out of the given options, you see, unit digit here it is 5, it is 2, it is 8, no. No, none of these options. This must be my option, that's it. 75.6. Now, all of you got the idea here? Even if you want, you can do this one. This is 12th table only. Otherwise, this is 63 into 163. 63 into 2, that is, uh, how much is that one? 126. 126 means 12.6. 63 plus 12 is 75.6. That is 75.6. So, luckily here, unit digits are different here. For that reason, 2 into 3, 6, that's going to be my option. Isn't it simple for you students? Always do the questions in this way. This is the best way I'm telling you. But to do this question with ease, almost in two or three steps, you must know the concept of ratios, concept of percentages, concept of weighted average method. If you know all these three, this question is cakes walk for you. I'm telling you the same thing. Nowadays, the examiner is very intelligent, isn't it? How they are giving the questions? They are combining two to three chapters together. Here you see three chapters are combined. Averages, of course, average. This is ratios and percentages. In the averages, they have used weighted average concept. Got it? Right. So, students, I request all of you to... Uh, share this video with all your circles. You please do that one so that many other students may be benefited. And uh, by the way, if anybody wants to join our regular course, you can join that one. Our fee is also very, very minimal, 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 I'm telling you. I charge very minimal and I started this online institute in 2016 only. Many institutes have come here after Corona. But we are there from the beginning and have trained more than 15,000 students on 
this video platform, video classes platform only. Otherwise, I've been teaching these subjects for the last uh, 25 years and more than 15,000 students are those students who have trained uh, like trained by me for the last 25 years uh, are in central government and different state government jobs. Thank you so much students and uh, one more time I request you to share this video with all your circles. Thank you so much.